Welcome to IGM Guru. IGM Guru is one of the global leading online training and certification provider for IT expert by the skilled IT gurus to help them achieve their professional goals. So why, now the question comes that why prompt engineering is important for, to, to generative AI? The prompt engineering is required to optimize the AI or LLM performance and improve the user experience. When we have the knowledge of how to write a good prompt, definitely we will get a good output. It will ensure the accuracy to the project specification and meet preset requirements. So, with the help of the prompt engineering, we can understand that at what time we need to give the examples. So, when we have the knowledge of that how to give the examples, in that scenario, definitely we will get the, we will get the expected answer. So, it will help us to preset the my requirement. Then, Prompt engineering helps in the efficient problem solving by creating the content tailored to specific user skill level. While writing the prompt, you will see that I will write, I will use some kind of a role that based on the, based on the, if you are doing the data engineering task, we will set a, another role. If you are doing the data visualization task, we will set the, another role. Then after that, the prompt engineering precise customization of the image characteristics, including the style, perspective, expert ratio, and the image resolution. So when you are creating a, when you are using the LLM models, which create the image. So if you remember, while I was taking the prompt of uh, uh, training on the Mars, on the on Mars, so. I give a very small introduction or small instructions on the image. We can explain the image characteristics that how your image looks like. We can also mention the expert ratio, your image resolution size and all these things. So prompt engineering help us to to add the all the necessary information about the output. Apart from these things, prompt engineering is also useful to identify and mitigate the prompt injection attacks, thus protecting the AI model for the potential malicious activity. The thing is, because every everything is about the text data, right? So, there might be a chance that person give the wrong text data and these things happen in the in the real time also so what happened is i don't know whether you heard or not what happened is that in the last last year twitter created a bot to give the answer or to the to give the response of the user queries on the behalf of the twitter so Twitter launched this uh, this uh, bot, and uh, what happened is that initially that bot was working fine, but you know that people when people try to test the code, they test the code for almost all the edge cases. So what happened is that people start interacting with the bot in the abusive manner. So they start writing the abusive chat to the Twitter bot. And what happened is the Twitter bot also start learning from this abusive language and give the response in the same manner. So by this way, Twitter has to stop the this bot service within the one day. So why it happened? Because the Twitter programmed, the Twitter bot was programmed to train on the input as well. But at the same time, bot should be programmed not to train on the abusive language. 
so they should check the things whether the input is coming from the user is a abusive language or not so this was a very good learning and this learning uh, this improvement open ai did basically so when the open ai the chatbot when you are in chat with the ch uh, chat gpt if you use the abusive language before giving the answer before giving the answer the chat gpt is using some kind of a api or using some kind of a different model to check that whether the input contain any abusive or any any language which is against the, against the code of contact guys so this is again the part of the prompt engineering because it may be possible that you are you you created your own chatbot or you fine tune your own chatbot and now this chatbot is running for the client and it may be possible that user can start playing with the chatbot they start using some kind of as i mentioned that some abusive uh, words and they want to see that they want to test the things whether how the chatbot will respond so a good prompt engineering technique is the technique where we also mitigate the prompt injection attacks as well so this is what a prompt engineering is thanks for watching the video for full course please visit www.igmguru.com and enroll today.